Welcome back, internet, to the Moonlit Grotto! I'm colorful. Arty! And today we will explore the dungeon in more depth Cause it's got great music and great enemies all around And it's got some clever puzzles to boot Anyways I really like the music for this dungeon Cause it's very reminiscent of the actual Crescent Island theme But it, it's in a dungeon form And here's a crystal! There was a loud sound far off, like something being knocked loose. There are four of those in this dungeon. You gotta hit them all. The four crystals tie it all together. Yep. And this introduces turntables. See the di arrow direction the arrows go? It's going right now counterclockwise. We step on it, it turns us once. Now it reverses the direction to clockwise. That can be annoying. And this is the first real puzzle of the dungeon. Throw it over the wall. That'll blow that up. Push the block down there. Throw the bomb there. Push the block up here and hit this. Also, one more thing. Push the block up here. Push the statue into this corner. And you get a key. This is where your sh uh, the game really shows off that the Oracle of Ages puzzles are just much tougher than the Oracle of Seasons ones. We're already into very advanced puzzles in the third dungeon. Seriously, this is definitely one of my favorite dungeons in the Oracle games. Probably just in general. I really like this dungeon. And here's where we get to manipulate the turntable. We're gonna take it clockwise, counterclockwise back here. And now we've made ourselves a nice little loop. Hang on. I totally forgot. This is where you want to go at the beginning. Oh boy, these are Pole's voice. Adorable little bunny rabbits. Now, you can bomb them, but a much easier way to kill them... Play the Harp of Ages. And we get the dungeon map! So without moving to the other floor of the dungeon, you can see Crescent Moon shaped. The other floor is also shaped like a crescent moon. Anyways, now we go back to the turntable room on this side, since the turntable's now moving in the clockwise direction, we can move up to this dun uh, room. These are like-likes, they tend to creep people out, but right now they're harmless because I don't have a shield for them to eat. Another owl, huh? Stone soldiers do not fear swords. Oh, and we're already fighting Armos Knights! So if we push this button, they come to life. And you gotta bomb them to death. In Oracle of Seasons, there's a weapon that makes them much easier to beat. That weapon does not exist in Oracle of Ages. Coward! Hmm... I don't think Ember Seeds will do anything, but... No, darn it! If that happens, thankfully they've got bombs out here. And doggone it, I'm gonna get be fully stocked on bombs. So I'm gonna drop a bomb there, put him to life, and kill it outright. I wonder if scent seeds would work on them. 
Nope. Rats. Darn it! These guys are so annoying! <sighs> this is like the only annoying part of the dungeon. The fact that the sword just does not work on them at all, period. Very, very annoying. I mean, even in the 3D Zelda games, while they were annoying, they were nowhere near this bad. Oh, come on! I totally had that guy. Doggone it! What I wouldn't give for a bigger bomb bag. Because ten is just not that many. Oh, what?! They never move where you expect them to, either. They're really unpredictable. Not where I told it to go. There we go! Good grief, that took way too long. So there's a crystal there that's just impossible to reach. Oh boy, and this introduces deadly tiles. It's best to just sit in a corner and then slash your sword at them. Alright, there we go. Once all the enemies are dead, that includes the tiles, you can go here. Alright. Heads up, there are quite a few Dekus in this room that will disguise themselves. You can tell which ones are Dekus based on the tile they're on. You can see these grass, completely one color tile behind it beneath them. Whereas the, gla uh, the grass I'm looking at down below, it's not just one color. That means that's the Deku. Nice little trick. Believe me, this will save your butt. And we get 30 rupees. Worth it. So now we get to fall down this pit to the lower level. And, you know, kill the tech tights. And oh, wow, nobody gave me anything. Go down here. And yeah, nothing we can do around there. And already, there's just nothing we can do up there yet. So these are mold arms. They take a ton of hits to kill, and they move sporadically, but they're not too bad. Pulse voice, but we know how to kill them. You can also kill them by using the flute that you get later on in the game. In case you were wondering about that for Oracle of Seasons. And now we get to kill this guy by throwing bombs at him. Because if we do that, we can go down here.
Now what we need to do is hit that switch, so we're gonna hold the bomb a bit longer than usual, so that way it'll blow up in time. And that was easy. Sweet. And now we get the compass. But we can't really use the compass because of the map glitch. Just push all these blocks over there. And we get a key. Boom, 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 boom. I love this music oh so much. It's just so great. It's so great. It's so great. Won't you agree? It's very good. It is great dungeon music. All right, now we go up the stairs. And we can hit the crystal. Only one crystal left, and we know where it is. But we can't get it just yet. But you'll remember there was the keyhole in that upper room, so we gotta do some turntable manipulation again. Nothing too bad. Get out of my way, mini Moldorms. In case you guys were wondering, Moldorm, the boss from A Link to the Past, one of my least favorite bosses ever. I just hate him. Especially since her sword in that is so small! It does not even qualify as a sword, it's a dagger. This, this is what the good Z a 2D Zelda sword length should be. Longer than you are. <laughs> well, this isn't good. Alright, now we go up here, candle in the middle of nowhere, can't do anything about that. Oh boy! So those little orange guys, they will move in the opposite direction you move. You move left, they move right, you move up, they move down, etc. Because of that, they're very easy to take out. Especially if you're willing to use spin attacks. Man, these guys take a ton to bring down, though. And... We get the Seed Shooter! Pick your seeds, fire, then watch them uh... I believe the word was ricochet. So, to start... It's like the slain shot from Oracle of Seasons, but... These ones ricochet. And you can also choose which angle to fire them at. And because of that, we can now destroy the final crystal. Once again, we have to manipulate the turntable, though. Get out of here, P-Hat. We're gonna equip Scent Seeds to the Seed Shooter, that's my favorite ammunition. Since Scent Seeds aren't that great otherwise. So what we're gonna do is aim like that, fire, and BAM! There was a loud sound far off, like something being knocked loose. It sounds like something heavy fell down below. So now if we go back to the turntable room, surprise, no turntable, and instead there's a chest here, with a gash of seed. So you might be wondering, where did the turntable go? It's now in the basement. Well, right here. So if we go down here, we can kill these moles. Did not go over them. These guys are not actually called moles, but I call them moles. 
You can't hit them in the helmet, you have to hit them in the back. Alright. Some of these blocks can be moved. There we go. Time to equip some Ember Seeds. That's one. That's two. And all we get is a Gasha Seed. But now we can just manipulate the turntable. Give me a heart, thank you. Get out of here, tech tights. I think I'll do this dungeon in one video, if I can. It'll be a longer than average video, but... This dungeon, it, we're actually very close to the end of it already. Nothing we can do over there. Mini boss time. As long as I'm underground, your attacks don't scare me. So, we're gonna need the shovel. Yeah. Not a very intimidating boss. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, he's easy. Ba -da 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 -da. Gotta kill some mini Moldorms. And remember, with the Cursed Ring, your sword damage is halved, but only your sword damage, so Seed Shooter still deals the same amount of damage as do bombs. And we get ourselves a nice little key for that. And now, this is a very interesting dungeon, because this is, I want to say, the only dungeon in the Oracle games where you actually have to use the portal you get between the mini-boss room and the main room. So let's go back upstairs. Actually, no, wait. I'm going to save and quit, go back to the start, and see if the turntable's still... weird. Because it is a long trek back upstairs. Rats. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to take the long trek upstairs then. Die, Moldorm. Doom, doom, doodle, doom, 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 doom. Yeah, I actually really like this puzzle using the teleporter to manipulate the turntable. That's actually a very clever use of the turntable. Get out of here, P hats. Oh, this is a fun puzzle. And now I believe, yep, boss keep. Onward to the boss of the dungeon. Boss of dungeon. It is pretty boss. Actually, not really. This boss I don't think will be any harder in a cursed playthrough, except the fact that you take extra damage. Ow. Just 
Get out of here, P-Hat! And we get 20 rupees! Sweet! Ow! Hate P-Hats! Hate him with a passion. Seeds, the Seed Shooter makes for some pretty cool puzzles. Ow! Alright, time for the boss. <laughs> you cannot see who I am, for I am your shadow. Welcome to the third boss, Shadow Hag. Avoid the shadows. When they reform, look away. Fire a seed shooter, it'll ricochet back into her. And it's really just that simple. Her little hags can mess fiends up, though. I love this music. Because you use the Seed Shooter, not very hard. Even on a cursed playthrough. Those shadows will damage you if they touch you. Goodbye, Shadow Hag. And I still have full HP. Sweet. You got the echoing howl, an essence of time. It echoes far across the plains to speak to insolent hearts. We got a new item. Yes, we got a new item. Got a new item. We got a new item. Yeah, that wasn't super long. Ambi's tower will soon be complete. Well, that was- Whoa, that was fast! Once Ambi's tower is done, history shall remember me as the greatest of queens. They built the Eiffel Tower in, like, three dungeons? That's insane. Artie, you have the echoing howl, but things are not going well. The Black Tower is nearing completion in the past. Terrible things will happen if you don't hurry. I hear an essence echoing from the peaks northwest of Lina City. Can you go? We can go. In the next episode! Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.